Right, to save a movie as a DVAVI file, we start with our movie down here in the timeline and we go to File, Save Movie File, or we can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and P. Just click on that and that opens up the Save Movie Wizard box. Normally highlighted is my computer, which is what we need selected, but just in case something else is selected, just click on my computer and then down to next. This opens up the um, file name box, so I'm going to call it save as DVAVI and then in box 2 we have choose a place to save your movie if we click on browse you get an explorer window open up and you can choose the location of where you want it to be saved I'm going to leave it as my videos in this case and we click down on OK and if you've changed the location then your new location will show up in this box here we click on next now this is probably the most important part of this uh, um, tutorial normally selected here is the best quality for playback on my computer setting now we don't want that if we want it as a DVAVI so we click on show more choices then in the little radio button here are the settings and that gives us this drop down arrow here to open up the other settings and if we scroll down we come to DVAVI. Now mine says PAL because that's what I use here. Uh, yours may well say NTSC which is perfectly alright. So having selected that we can then click on next and that will automatically start saving our movie. Now being as I've only used the uh, Movie Maker 2 sample file this is only going to take a few seconds to save because the movie is only 13 seconds long and there we go once it's finished we've got two options we can if this box is ticked play the movie file when I click finish that will automatically open up Windows Media Player and play the file we've just saved um, to save time we'll untick that and we'll click finish and that's it done we have our movie saved just to show you a little something extra we'll just close this down we don't want to save the, uh, the file there. I'll just reopen Movie Maker. We'll make our next movie now because this is another day. We're making another movie. We've got it on our timeline just so that you know it's a different one. I'll just put in a little bit of music there. Let's pinch a little nice bit. Put that in. There we go. That's a different movie and quickly running through we'll go, let's just make that a little bit smaller just so it's uh, quicker to save file save movie file my computer next uh, we'll call it movie 001 because it's there and leave it in my videos and next and here this is the, the bit I wanted to show you once you've made selections and you close down Movie Maker, when you reopen, it automatically remembers the last selections you used. So it's automatically given us other settings and DVAVI as uh, our setting there. So just click in on Next, and that will then save the movie. Let's take a little bit longer here because we've got some music in, but it shouldn't take too long at all. And there we go. And this time, if we click on Play Movie when I click Finish, Movie Maker opens up. There we go. Thank you.